Hi, welcome to Coffee Talk Tuesday. I'm Shalee Stevens, and I am with my dynamic duo co-host. Did you like that? Was that good? Uh, I think I'm dynamic single, but... <laughs> Maybe now. There's uh, a oh, people I, in there. <laughs> I'm supposed Mitchell. to take the trip, new wife trip. to a Super Bowl party and just found out I can't. Oh. So. Well, it, you know what? It's funny is that this is going to actually air after the Super Bowl. So we'll tell your story later of yeah, what we'll actually happened. Yeah. You might be the dynamic single after that. Yeah. Exactly. You know, but I think marriage, you should give it four months and then, you know, see if it's going to work. And today well, is the day that things the, are about to go no, bad. Yeah. But, you know, that's funny that you say that because I'm I'm in a similar four month situation right now. But anyway, we are here with Holly Hope. <laughs> and Holly Hope hopes I'm that everything 11. goes great. Yes. I hope <laughs> For very both much. of us. <laughs> so Holly, I, I'm just gonna offer some critique. If you could be a little bit more dynamic oh. and fun, I think that I will try. <laughs> you will be an amazing guest. Very hard. So you walked in with drums. Yes. You walked in with a lot of stuff. Tell me about you. A lot of stuff, like the emotional baggage over here. No, I'm just no, kidding. no, no. no. <laughs> we run that out. Do you want me to show you? Yes, Is that please. what we're doing? Yeah. Okay. This drum. So I make these. Can you hear that? That's the ocean. There's crystals in it. And it's magical. It sounds like my testicle just dropped. <laughs> <laughs> this little bit. <laughs> Then there's this baby, the yin yang drum. Do you want me to drum it for you? Yes, please. So I that make these really out cool. of animal hides. This one's elk. It naturally came with the yin yang on it. So it's really cool. Offers oh, balance. I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, you kind of have to squint and angle your head a little bit. Is it like <laughs> uh, when there's pictures of Jesus Christ on toast? Yes. Warshack. Yeah. You see whatever you want to see. So what do you see? <laughs> I see Jesus. I see a moose, actually. A moose. I see a moose head. Oh, yeah. Moose energy is good. Stability. Focus. <laughs> you. Uh, Strength. <laughs> How did we find you? Anyway, take over. Well, <laughs> this woman mystifies me. I so Holly is actually one of my very dear friends. I absolutely love this woman. She we met because I do energy work. She does energy work. She did energy work on me. See, this is the world that we're going to help you grow in because you said I have areas of opportunity for this, and so I brought Holly in. To so really you guys worked in the you. oil fields. Yes. <laughs> So you guys way just, down in the trenches. So you guys yeah. do drilling. Yes, <laughs> yes, in a way. Okay. But she actually is a crap clearer. Yeah. A, a what? Yeah. <laughs> emotional crap clearer. An emotional crap clearer. Mm -hmm. How Te does? <laughs> I, technically, I, I, my title is intuitive emotion coach, which means I psychically remove people's emotional crap. Holy shit, Chris! <laughs> <laughs> does he have to leave his clothes on? <laughs> Sorry, I thought I was supposed to edit that. Okay. <laughs> so, how? So, someone who's, you know, you remember Trump's phone call with the leader? It was a perfect phone call. Mm -hmm. I've got a perfect. I have no crap at all here. But let's say hypothetically there were a couple. Well, of course not, because I just drummed you. Yeah. Go on. A couple of hitches in my getty up. How would you get rid of my emotional crap? Hmm. Well, we would tune in and ask your spirit guides. Wow, I sound really woo woo. This is kind of fun. He thought I wasn't you the crazy are redhead. Really woo woo. But now it's starting to come out. <laughs> woo woo. Woo woo. Okay. So we find emotional allergies. We find addictions to emotions and those cycles and those patterns. So the conscious habits that are creating the crap in your life that keep, you keep coming back to. So move forward, move forward, move forward. Ugh, why did I do that again? I always do that. I hate that I always do that. How come I always do this? Well, I'm not going to do it again. And then so much time goes by and you go through the same cycles. And so I help to find the cycles in a very cynical way. So I'm kind of like a cynical psychic. Hmm. And then we do all the woo-woo stuff and the energetic side of the unconscious that clears it. So it's a lot like you have this two-year-old in the back of your head that's always screaming, saying, ah! I want what I want and I want it this way and I don't want it to change. And then you have your conscious mind that says, I want change. I want things to be different. I want to move forward. But then the two-year-old just gets louder and louder and then you stop. So I come in and say, hey, two-year-old, this is what we're doing. This is where we're going. We're going to the beach. We're going to build sandcastles. We're going to drum. We're going to have fun. You'll like it. Well, okay, I'll try it. And then you have your conscious mind that reminds the unconscious of it the whole time. Okay, so I'm. we've established that I'm perfect. Let's work yes. on Shalise. Oh. <laughs> Oh, there's a so lot of crap. emotional crap right now. <laughs> a lot that's going on. 
Actually, well, and because I do so much work, I can recognize when it's happening. And so it, it, I mean, it's a blessing and a curse, actually. So it's actually really good that Holly's here today. So go ahead. Like, okay, go ahead. so let's do, do you some... want me to do like a reading on her and oh, yes. sit, find something? Okay. Oh, yeah. I, I, I think she's perfect. Uh, I think she's perfect. Oh, thanks. Plus, I've already cleared her crap for like year. We've been friends for years. So. Yeah. Yeah. We've done and a lot of work. There's lots okay. of crap, though, that keeps coming up because I'm a mess. No, you're not. Okay, that's right, her shit. Oh, crap right there. Hey, give me, I didn't finish the tea. It's fine. Okay, Holly, <laughs> let me have the other drum. The ocean drum. Okay. Yes. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So I can. Do you want to? Do you want me to find something yeah. and we can clear it right now? Let's okay. do it. Okay, I'm going to stand for a brief moment, if that's okay. Okay. I'm like, you're going to get a nice view of other things. Okay. <laughs> Say it quiet, Holly. No one will notice. Okay. What are we getting a view of? Mm, my necklace. Oh. Isn't it beautiful? It's turquoise. My sweetheart <laughs> bought it for me for my birthday. My birthstone. Okay. Okay. That was easy. Okay. <laughs> I said that about an old girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Just as long as it wasn't a young one. Um, okay. uh, spread up cheek. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> So what came up was, oh, I almost forgot now. It was an emotion. Well, it just comes through, and I usually write it down. So what came up was what's called an emotional allergy. So emotional allergies show up when there's a positive emotion that we refuse to let ourselves feel. It's not safe to feel it, or we felt it, and it didn't turn out so well, so we don't want to feel it anymore. Don't hit the mic. Um, and so in this case, it's uh, an allergy that you have to feeling lovable, like truly loved. Because the minute I feel loved is the minute that that love can go away. It's the minute that it's a different programming from what I'm used to. And so emotional allergies are a lot like food allergies. As soon as you have the chance to eat a food that you're allergic to, your body goes, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know how to process this. I don't know if it's safe to feel it. So just get rid of it. You know what? It's just easier, a step ahead. And so as soon as you start to sense that feeling that you might be loved or that you're loved by the wrong person, it's like, ah, nope, off. And you block and you block and you block and you block and you push it away. Yeah. How'd you so. come up with that so quick? Um, her spirit guides told me. They just kind of. That's a professional. I'm term. sorry. Could you repeat that? <laughs> How about backwards? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, you, do you rent yourself out for parties? I do, but you'd have to pay me. And I keep my clothes on. <laughs> okay, well, well, two things I've never done before. But, yeah. Okay, do a reading on me. Okay. Well, I kind of, okay, we'll clear yours after because it's. Oh, okay. Well, no, her. if you need to clear Well, I would like least. drum her and stuff. And so. Yeah, let's finish with. Yeah, I think you need it. I, I probably do. Okay. okay. <laughs> so one of the things is we can remove the allergy, but if. Like, if you're allergic to peanuts and you're suddenly not allergic to peanuts anymore, the last thing we're going to do is say, here's a bucket of peanuts. Eat up. Mm. See how your body processes that. Yep. Instead, you have to replace it with a positive. So one single peanut. Da -da -ding. And so one single peanut. Oh, my God. <laughs> we have props here. <laughs> take your peanut. <laughs> so one single peanut. I will take this peanut in my hand and put it in my pocket. No. No, put it in your body. <laughs> In your body, feel the peanut. Embrace the peanut. Let's enunciate <laughs> on peanuts. 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 All right. Okay. okay. Um, it's done. This is really not how a normal session goes, <laughs> so people know. But it's fun. You will laugh because I'm funny. I think I am. <laughs> in my head, I am. I, I'm funny in my head, too, yeah. so it really doesn't yeah. matter what anybody else thinks. Yes. So with this allergy, we remove the allergy to the or the peanut, and now you've put one in. So now you get to say a positive statement. Okay. Now, normally when we say positive statements, we do what's called I am statements. I am strong. I am beautiful. I am. And the first thing we do is we look for validation. We look for proof. We look for evidence. And the first thing that happens when we don't see that evidence is liar. And then we try and talk ourselves, but I am. But you're a liar. But I am. 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 Okay, fine. We'll just pretend that I believe it. Okay, fine. Like, and really, how deep does that get into your subconscious or into your heart? So instead, you can say the statement, I feel, and allow yourself to feel the emotion because that can be imaginary. Um, in your case, the block is so strong right now that it's like there's no way that you can even pretend to feel it. You're still like, liar, liar. So what you do is you just add extra words in. 
So okay. instead of saying, I feel loved, I allow myself to feel loved. I am allow myself to desire to feel loved. I allow myself to one day be maybe possibly ready to possibly maybe, maybe, maybe feel loved. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Is like that the one the, the one, like the Elmo version? <laughs> <laughs> it's entire, entire. But that's like your one peanut. And so it's just the tiniest little bit that your body can receive and have zero resistance. And if you have zero resistance and you do it again tomorrow and you do it again the next day, then eventually it'll feel good to feel loved and you won't go, oh, I'm feeling loved. I need to run and go and shut off and then have ramifications and then try and undo and unwind. And, and then it just gets jumbled. We like to jumble things. Okay. So tune in. What's your statement? I allow myself I allow myself to safety to safety to feel safe when I feel loved <laughs> I'm like I'm like safety let me allow actually. you to find it but I'm I, just gonna tell wait, you wait 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 is this an open book test where you're giving her the answers <laughs> yes <laughs> yes I allow myself to feel safety when I'm loved Ooh. When Ooh. I allow myself to feel when loved. I allow myself to feel loved I allow, I allow myself to feel safety when I allow myself to feel loved yeah. Now say it again, but close your eyes and eat a peanut. <laughs> this is a, every time I have a session with Holly, it's different. So this is fun. I allow myself to feel safety when I allow myself to feel loved. Okay, we're going to do it one more time. While I secretly drum you. I allow myself to feel safety while I allow myself to feel loved. myself to feel safety when I allow myself to feel loved. Now say it in your head. I think at that, are we at a time where we can go to break? Yeah. <laughs> yes, we can. And then we'll work on you when we come back. This will be a full construction project. It is going to be a full construction project. All right, we'll return after these messages. Okay, welcome back. Now for the fun part. Well, we're we're gonna get a little woo woo with Trip. Okay, now <laughs> woo woo. Understand <laughs> that <laughs> that's really where it comes from. So understand that I am not a believer, so I'm a little cynical. So given That's that, good because I'm a cynical psychic. So okay, well this, this <laughs> I get is it. perfect. Um, and that being said, I, I'm open to getting better. And what's funny is that I used acupuncture hundred years ago, and it worked great. And I, I've had pain ever since. You know, I've a lot of surgeries and stuff. And so sometimes maybe you you find something else, and you're such a cynic you never use it again. But have at me. So I'm not going to like what you're going to do. I don't believe it. I believe it's all BS, but have at me. <laughs> that effectively, <laughs> you know, you know, when you have the psychiatrist comedians in a crowd yes, and they bring someone up that they, they know who to grab. Mm -hmm. So I was just announcing that if you do anything great for me, this is a miracle. No pressure. Just lower the bar a little bit. Cause I don't like pressure. I'm not a monkey. Monkeys no, a dancing respond monkey. Well respond well to pressure do, 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 bananas do, do, do. dancing monkey okay. <laughs> so i i think you're up for penetrating my brain let's go ahead speaking of bananas okay <laughs> it's your brain see i was just tuning in yeah. so that's his fault my brain is yellow mush i don't doubt that okay <laughs> see, i do i very much doubt that there are brown spots in there i'm old <laughs> that's why she's gonna clear the crap out okay. do, 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 do. Chris, that's a good look. <laughs> it's our sound guy. <laughs> hey. Oh, wow. <sighs> I was looking at a man's butt. <laughs> you were looking at my butt? No, man's oh, butt. Oh, I was like, my butt looks like a man? What? No, Sorry, no, no. this makes the hearing kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, what came up was what's called a trapped emotion. Okay. So, when emotions come up into our lives... Um, a situation happens that causes 
an emotion. So it's a situation, we match it with a similar emotion, and then we do something about it. So we decide what needs to change. Do we need to change? Does our environment need to change? Do the people in our environment need to change? And sometimes it means those people have to leave. Um, and sometimes it's just our perspective. That needs You've to met go. some of my co-hosts, clearly. <laughs> Not this one. <laughs> Not <no>. this one. <laughs> You're invited to leave because you make this emotion. So I'm making the change by letting you go. Yeah. Um, and in this case, what happens sometimes is that we feel an emotion and we go, I don't know what the change needs to be. I don't know how to change this. I'm not sure how to process this. I'm not sure what to do with this. So I'm just going to stuff it right here in my back pocket. Okay. And I'm just going to pretend that it's not there. And I'm going to focus here. I'm going to focus all the way here. And by focusing all the way here, I don't have to look at this over here. But over time, each time that emotion comes up, we just add it to the pile. We add it to the pile. And we don't process it. And we don't really connect with it. And so it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And as it's getting bigger, it's kind of this raw emotion that just turns. And so over time, it takes more effort to stuff it down, stuff it down, stuff it down. And then eventually, this is where if it gets to the point where it doesn't stop being stuffed, it gets just below the surface. And just below the surface means it can explode and then sucked back down really fast. And that's where a lot of people think they're... Holly is a one-person sound effects company. <laughs> I am. And those are all professional terms. Yes. <laughs> you know, they teach them at Harvard, but if you... <laughs> And going to Massachusetts Community College, we never learned that stuff. But oh, go ahead. no. Yeah, I, I lived in Maryland, so, you know, okay. that's close. Yeah, but yeah I mean, <laughs> right around the corner. Right. <laughs> Other side of the country, that's all the same. So he's needing peanuts now. Mm. He's trying to... He's trying to, like, eat... <laughs> if I eat more nuts, then this will make more sense, because I won't feel so nutty. Okay, <laughs> or I'll feel more nutty, and then it'll align? I'm not sure. So, anyways, the emotion... <laughs> Builds, 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 and then it explodes. So what happens is you can feel a situation where the, you're supposed to feel this much emotion, right? Just a little bit, like a little drop. Mm. But instead of right, instead of responding with a little bit, a little, little, little bit. I know this is so stupid. I know. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then instead you respond with this huge amount of emotion that's been stuffed down, and it all comes out. So it's situation, my emotional reaction. And so that's where we're like, I feel like I'm overreacting or other people go, oh, you're way overreacting. You need to like calm it back down. And it's like, oh, it's not okay to feel this. So I'm just going to stuff it really fast. And um, ironically enough, that's something that I talked to my therapist about this last week. Oh, stuffing oh. stuff? Yeah, well, just overreacting to situations and getting really pissed off. and. Yeah, and it's not that you're feeling emotions that you aren't valid or that you aren't supposed to feel because they're in there and they're raw but it's that the situation only called for this much emotion but this much emotion hasn't been dealt with and faced and so it hasn't had a chance to be expressed so in essence what i did which was incredibly dumb on a level that is dumb squared is i add oil to my car and then didn't put the oil cap back on i need to tell her what the emotion is first because okay. i know that you're going to tell her okay so now finish your story that way she can validate that it came before you finished your story. So in essence, what happened is that I did something incredibly dumb, could have ruined my car, oil, all, every place, open the hood and realize it. And my reaction was way over the top and just was very frustrating for people to be around because I look like a mental patient. Mm -hmm. And they're like, why are you overreacting on this thing that was so big? So do you want to know what the stuffed emotion is? What? Do you want to tell them what I told you? Failure. So it's a trapped emotion of failure. So every time you feel failure, you stuff it and you don't process through it. So instead of feeling a little bit of failure and handling it, you explode with a lot and then you stuff it all. And you're like, no, I'll do something different. And you may make the changes to have success, but you don't allow yourself to feel that emotion of failure. It's like, nope, don't feel it. Don't feel it. Just move on. Just keep going. Just do something different. But the emotion explodes first. Hmm. Well, in this case, I mean, the idea of doing something incredibly, and I've got a lot going. And some, so I think what's happening is I'm, getting i'm letting a lot of crap that i have to deal with all i mean a bunch of different projects we're working yes. on including some big ones and so sometimes i'm not in the present when i'm doing something i'm thinking about nine other things mm -hmm. so i left the house door open the other day and forgot to put the oil cap back in my car. so these are things that are a little bit frustrating they're just like tiny on the grand scale of the successes you've had, but they're just tiny enough to like let this emotion out and hmm. explode. And then you're like, wait, I'm overreacting. This isn't appropriate for the situation and stuff it back down. So I've been using a swear, a linked swear word lately. A linked swear word. So it begins with an F word. It's just really hor. It's about the worst expression you could have. And I use it and it, it is, 
I mean, it doesn't reflect well. On a hockey rink, it reflects very well. It's very appropriate when you're about to get in a fight with someone. Anywhere else but the rink, it is a horrible combination of words. And <laughs> it does not make me look good mm-hmm. or sound good. So can you fix this? Yeah, we can drum it out of you. Okay, let's do it. Um, But let me just see if there's something else that needs to be done, too. Okay. Yes. Okay, so you're going to have a homework assignment if you're okay with that, too. Okay. So we'll drum it, and that will get the edge off. Okay. But then there's some deeper work you get to do. Okay. He's like, "Mm, scared. Okay. (laughs) Oh, you did kind of, you know, hit the nail on the head. I mean, I... (laughs) Yeah. But it gets to go, because we all know how it feels, and we all know... We don't like the emotion, but that doesn't mean we can express it. But okay. sometimes we need to look at it and express it in order for it to go away. Okay. Okay. So drum so, me. Yep. So in your mind, you get to say, I release this trapped emotion of failure. I release, okay. Or even just release, 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 release. Okay. feel like circling the wagon train (laughs) okay that wasn't me that was the sound effects okay (laughs) well and normally you know we do it where it's a longer drumming and you start the feet and you do both sides and all inclusive and all around well that's a sample in in television you have to come up with a problem solve it all within 20 minutes and 30 28 minutes and 30 seconds with commercials so you you know this is so in essence, how did you, so you did a reading on me before I let you know what the challenge was. Yes. That I do have a, most people see me as very mild mannered, but when I go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, it's not good. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and that's kind of why they call me the emotional crap clearer, because a lot of times we go to talk therapy and we explain what we don't like in our life and we talk about what we want to fix. And then we spend even a year or two years or many years or months or weeks or whatever it is, talking and talking and talking, trying to do a different pattern and find all the problems and the loopholes. But instead, I kind of go directly to your spirit guides or angels or higher self, whatever vocabulary works, and I ask, okay, what's the block? What's the thing that's bugging you the most that's ready to go? Okay, here's what we talk about. So I used to work for a therapist office, and I would have times when the therapist would pull me in the closet and say, you know, among the post-it notes, say, hey, I have this client that I just can't seem to do a breakthrough. And without knowing the client or anything, I would say, okay, and I would write down emotional allergy or this emotion. Talk about this. And then they'd go in and they'd ask them questions that would bring it to the surface. Because so many times we get used to our crap, and so we don't realize that it's not part of us and it's not what needs to be worked on. And we'll find distractions in front of us. So that's kind of how it's a little bit different because it's like, you're not going to tell me what you want to fix. I'll tell you what needs to be fixed. And I'm like, ooh, that's my... I didn't say that assertive enough. I tell you what needs to be fixed. Mm. Wow. I, uh, <laughs> wow, that was very assertive. Uh, I know. I was like, wait, that sounded like I was apologizing as I said it. So How did you find out that you had this gift? Um, so 15 years ago, I was a professional makeup artist and really good at my business. And I would get to success point and then stop and success point and then stop. And zoom, eek, zoom, eek. And I couldn't figure out why. And I was talking to a friend of mine in Seattle. And she's like, I have this woman. She can clear your emotions. I was like, my emotions? Like, woo-woo. Like, that's just crazy. And so I got on the phone with this woman. And she started going through. And she found this thing that I had from my childhood of, like, hatred. And I was like, I don't think that's me. Whatever. I don't like this lady. And then she's like, oh, I have to stop. Because I have this weird sensation in my body. And she started describing it. I'm like, oh, it's the very same thing I'm feeling right now. Whoa. Okay, I'm listening. And so she was able to clear stuff on a phone. And I was like, this is weird. So I flew up to Seattle and I watched her do a session. And while she was doing her session, I was like, I know the answers before you know the answers. How am I able to do this? This is so freaking weird. And so I went home and I took classes and courses in the modality that she knew. And I learned how to do it. And then I still don't tell anybody because it was really weird. I'm like, this is weird. Like, I don't know how this works, but I can do this thing. And so... Can you read people's minds? Um... Depends. Sometimes they'll be thinking of something and I'll say something and they're like, oh, that's exactly what I was thinking of. Oh my gosh. Do you see you the that? future? Um, yes, to some degree. Like I see the trajectory. So on the path that you're on, I see where it can go. 
the potential. But I never share those pieces because I'm not a fortune teller. Can you tell me who's going to win the Super Bowl by how many <laughs> points? And I can parlay that into an over and under and failure would be gone because I'll bet about 4000 bucks on it. Oh. If you can give me Dang. the winning team, the points, and the over and under. I've gone to Vegas and helped people win a lot of money, but anytime I try betting for my own benefit, I lose it all. Do it for my benefit. Do it for your benefit. <laughs> It'd be really funny if I did tune in and get those things, but then if you bet on it and it was wrong, you'd like come find me and hate me forever. No, 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 no. That's a lot of pressure. I don't like pressure. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> Well, I've known you for okay. a total of 35 Here. minutes. So. Here's the secret. I don't even know who's playing. Okay, so, so that would be a reading. Yeah. <laughs> some large people. Obviously, she hasn't been following me on Facebook. <laughs> I am following you on Facebook. I'm just, my business has been so busy. Look at that. Look at that. I got what yelled. emotion are you feeling right now, Holly? Shame. <laughs> Lots of shame. But you it's don't know right the here. Kansas Hold on. City shame. <laughs> I predict that the 49ers are going to win. Oh, I the 49ers. The Can Kansas City Chiefs. Okay. Laying a point. Okay. okay. Five bucks? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All Perfect. Right. But you get a point. Okay. I get a point? Yes. Okay. So. That would have been really good if I prepared ahead of time to like. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I used to give out that I was one of those handicappers who would tell people who to bet on. So I was always feeling pressure. Yes. Well, and part of what I do also is I can read, like, your emotional state. So if you really want a team to win, then I may say, well, it's going to be that person or you want it to be that person. Like, I could tell you who you want to win. Well, yeah. I, like, women would come to me and they'd say, tell me if I'm having a boy or a girl. And I'm like, okay. But just here's a disclaimer. If you really, really want a girl, it's going to come through. Girl, 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 really loud. And I'm going to say girl. Like, but, yeah. Okay. Well, you are fascinating. <laughs> How do people get a hold of you? Um, they call me on a thing called a phone. Okay. <laughs> no, um, I have, well, no, because I probably won't answer because I'm really busy or I don't follow people on social media as much. So I have Instagram, Holly, H-O-L-L-I-E dot hope. Um, or is Facebook. that your real name? That is my birth name. Yeah. My first name and my middle. Wow. Holly Hope. So my older sister is Chantel Faith. My younger sister was supposed to be Marcy Joy, but my maiden name's Ride. And so... Chantel Faith Ride, Holly Hope Ride, and then Marcy Joy Ride. <laughs> and they're like, maybe Charity. Marcy Charity Ride. And, and then, then your cousin, Marcy Uber Ride. Uber Ride. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So it's Faith, Hope, and Lee. Okay. <laughs> this so, yeah. is, oh my God. We have a unicorn. After we get off the air, I want you to do a reading on this gentleman. Ooh. He is evil incarnate. And I want to see. I noticed that. He's got a green hat. That's the color of evil. <laughs> Because, you know, I have green eyes, and so I'm only a little bit evil. But, okay. You know. But we will do... Hey, you well, are a you fascinating guest. <laughs> what was that? The hat comes off. The hat comes off. Oh. <laughs> My eyes change, forever. too. They go silver. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm really so, mad, are they silver? Actually, yeah. Um, <laughs> I We're going to be airing this right before your next drum circle or drum making workshop that you... Mm -hmm are having on what day talk about that um but. in salt lake it's february 29th in st george it's march 7th um february 29th is at sacred energy empowerment center i love saying that and st where george, is that located it's 4500 south and just off of state street like oh. 200 east so and then red mountain resort is going to be the march 7th one and that's like in my backyard in st george amongst the gorgeous red cliff mountains awesome. snow canyon i think i'm gonna come and visit you in a couple of days, yes. actually. You said. Um, I'll be there. Well, this Maybe. is. I know. You could get great guests. Well, thank you. Yeah, now, if does. I can only work on my co host. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just <laughs> kidding. We're working on it. We removed one thing. Don't make it right, feel right, like right. failure I'm sorry, today. I'm sorry. We just cleared <laughs> that. Now you're piling the crap up again. Oh, I need another God. peanut. <laughs> <laughs> Character insults here. Yes. Hey, this I love has been you. Fun. And I love, you. I love you. Thank you guys how do, so much. How about our audience? How do you feel about them? I love you guys. You are amazing. And I really appreciate you guys tuning in and having fun with us on our show. I love this new dynamic. What do you think of it? You've been on my show before. So being on this show. It was way more fun. I laughed a lot more and I was way thrown off, which is perfect because you get yeah, authenticity. Exactly. <laughs> All okay. right, guys. Well, we'll see you next week. Thanks. All right. Bye.